usual helming position is sitting here. One side or the other, depending on where the wind's blowing. But it can also be can sail very nicely from inside. Standing. Get some cold weather. Blows up a bit. Sail from in here. Warmer. And drier if you got a rain going. You can't put the bottom hatch board because the hatch is divided the two pieces. Close it up even more. And nice, uh, being able to stand at the helm here is, is really neat too when you're coming into a harbor or whatever. Maximum visibility. Four sheet is here, and uh, there's two sheets on the uh, mainsail, which is the aft foil, and the rear sail to the schooner. So uh, you, can, you can match all these sheets right from here. And of course, if you need to furl the sails, you can basically you can unhook the boom and wrap the sail up right from here, the main. And the foresail is. Uh, you have to go forward, but you're still in the in the safety of the cockpit. When you're doing kind of and likewise for reefing the sails, reefing is accomplished by taking the boom off and rolling the sail up partway. And again, you can do all that uh, in the safety of the cockpit. Or the cabin. So this is another day and another part of the lake. Um, that last little sailing sequence we had about five knots of wind, I believe, and the boat was moving along at three and a half to four knots. Here we're more like 10 knots of wind, maximum 10. Um, this is up in uh, St. Albans Bay, up a uh, northern part of the lake. And um, uh, I'm just kind of uh, showing off here how we can often sail without steering and uh, because of the two sails you can kind of trim them to get a balance. And here I'm going to do a attack. I wasn't close hauled so now I'm pulled up into the, pulled the sails in a bit and uh, pulled up into the wind and making attack.
I pulled up to a launch ramp here. This is just one of the nice things about the, uh, having the uh, twin keels and the metal shoes in the bottom, but you pull up just about anywhere. And maybe your wife will even bring you a sandwich. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Of course, when you've got somebody to hold the camera, the winds drop off to almost nothing. But uh, we've got a little bit of, see what the boat looks like on the water here. Catch enough uh, to keep it moving along. So I said, put the motor on and uh, show you what happens when your sailor gets bored, no wind, and you gun it. So here's an example of running uh, in rough water. We had uh, three foot plus waves here. And, uh, we're uh, uh, coming back from a, this, the, this is the new owner actually. He was on an overnight camping trip on an island in Lake Champlain. Decided to uh, come back under power instead of uh, dealing with the wind. We had some gusts of 30 knots that day. This was the uh, christening first launch for the boat for the, with the new uh, people who bought this boat. Uh, the proud first owners of a Schooner 21. Your eyes, it's a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Yay! All right. Where? On the bottle. Are you yeah, back, back you, Ellie? There we go. Yay! Right. Right. Christen yeah. me a boat that does not sink. Thank you. <laughs> Christen me the unsinkable. The unsinkable. <laughs> That's okay. It's waterproof. Yeah, it's waterproof. Better be waterproof. I don't know yeah, if it's champagne. So. Proof, though. Next year on the ocean. That's right. What do you think? Any reason to break a bottle? with that motor is that they can back out like that and uh, it's almost quiet in the cockpit. Uh, you don't need to go real fast with that motor but the having the control over it like that does help the maneuvering the boat and that sort of thing.
Well, they're having a good time. They're got a, they still got the motor on because there's hardly any wind, but uh, got the sails up. And I think the reality of sailing is that often you have to use a motor. So they did pretty good. The boat is riding a little low there. They've got like seven people and a whole lot of gear on. But uh, looking good to me.